Hello and welcome to my channel, Woven Wonders Tarot. This is a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your About Last Night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I am using a variety of tarot decks, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that information down in the description box just in case you're interested in the cards that I'm using today. As you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position. So let's get started, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, today this represents you, this represents your person, and this represents the overall energy or theme of the situation. Today you have the Seven of Swords. So that's the overall energy of the situation for you, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Swords. Someone is being sneaky, someone is either cheating, being sneaky, or thinking about leaving out of a situation without anyone knowing. Let's see what's going on. So for you, you have the Eight of Swords. You have the Two of Swords. Okay. And you have the Fool. And finally, you have the Moon. So I feel like the person who is planning on doing something sneaky, I feel like that's on your side, um, Sagittarius. I feel like you are feeling trapped in your current situation. All right, you have with this Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, this is not a good situation. These are not, you know, the best cards to pull when it comes to love and romance. I feel like you feel stuck and trapped in a situation that you cannot get out of. You're trying to figure out how to get out of it. I think it's easier than what you think with both of these cards, this Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. I think it's self-imposed. I think you can leave at any time, but I feel like, you know, you you wanna leave, but you feel like it's risky. So the Fool card, the Fool just goes on a journey without knowing what's gonna happen. So I feel like you're, this is causing you a little bit of anxiety, even though you wanna leave, you have the Fool and the Moon card. So I feel like you're, you're excited about it. You know that that's what you wanna do, but there's a little anxiety that's, um, you know, that surrounds you leaving. I feel like, you know, you're just afraid because you don't know if you're gonna be okay. And I say that because let's go to your person's side. Your person has the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, okay? So that's major right there. Your person has the King of Swords and your person also has the Five of Cups. So these are some major cards over here on your person's side. Uh, you've got the Emperor, the King, two Kings and an Emperor. So I feel like your person is very domineering. I feel like your person you live in your person's house, whatever that is, house, apartment, whatever it, it is, you live with the person who pays all the bills. This person is very dominant, I feel. Very dominant, could be mean, could be very strict. A strict person um, who has that, you know, this is my house, you're gonna dance by my rules in this house. This person probably argues a lot, is really not a loving person, doesn't show you a lot of love and emotion with this uh, King of Swords. And then also, you know, with this Five of Cups, I feel like, you know, with the King of Swords and the Five of Cups, I feel like your person is always like belittling you and comparing you to other people with this Five of Cups. You see how this person's fixated on these cups. It's someone that they used to like, but the, the two cups behind them, the offers, they're ignoring. So I feel like your person just compares you to other people, you know, says that other people are better than you that type of situation. I feel like you're you're living with a very arrogant, strict person. So the bottom of the deck for the overall energy is um, the Hierophant card. So we could be talking about a married couple here. This could be someone that you're married to. But I do feel like it's a situation that you want to leave with this um, Seven of Swords. I feel like you want to leave out of this situation because uh, it's just bad and I feel like you're going to try, you're trying to figure it out. You haven't told people about it with the Seven of Swords either. I feel like it's it's something that you're keeping to yourself. You're gonna sneak away. That's what you want to do, sneak away. The bottom of the deck for you is the um, King of Swords again. So I feel like this is a situation where there's no love left in this connection with your person. Your person has the Eight of Wands at the bottom of their deck. So I feel like your person is just very aggressive. I feel like this Eight of Wands represents aggressiveness. And if you were to leave, I feel like maybe there's some intimidation there. You feel like this person would be after you. 
Um, but yeah, that's what I see. I feel like, uh, you know, you're just in a situation, you're trying to figure out how to leave and get out of that situation because you're with a very dominant, uh, you're in a dominant relationship. The person dominates, the person doesn't have a lot of romantic feelings and the person could be a jerk at times and the person probably belittles you. So that's what I'm seeing. But so good luck in this situation, okay? Whatever it is that you're trying to do to protect yourself because the seven of swords, this person has these swords because they're trying to protect their heart as well. That's another interpretation of this card. So you're trying to protect yourself and leave. And um, so that's why I see good luck with the situation. Um, stay safe. And thank you for stopping by and watching my video. And have a wonderful day.